This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how to monitor and manage replication and potentially how to troubleshoot it with a few different utilities provided in Windows Server 2008. Let's take a look first at Event Viewer. And I think the best way, personally, to get to Event Viewer would be through Server Manager. The reason I say that you can get into uh, Event Viewer in the Diagnostics section in Server Manager. And you certainly are, uh, that's, that's fine to do that. But I personally like going through the role. Because when you select on Active Directory Domain Services, it's already going to show you a filtered list of events. Uh, and so you can see if there are any problems. And these are only the events related to Active Directory. Now sure, there's a category in Event Viewer for that. But this would potentially show you that. Okay? This also can identify system services that are stopped, like this one, which I'm not sure why that stopped. So we'll go ahead and start that up uh, because that is for intersite. Oh, I guess that was for the uh, SMTP for replication. Okay, so but we can see the events and then we can link here and just go to Event Viewer and it will have the server role and the filter. That's basically all it's, it's showing me. This should be the first place that I'm, I'm going to. Now, I can filter the custom view and look for specific sources. Um, actually, this one is, I can, I can create a new filter, I should say, since we already have those views there, I'm not able to do that. But if you look at the source, you've got some that are NTDS, uh, ISAM, you've got the just a regular domain service. We would have replication as well. We can see the categories of task and what's actually going on. So basically, we would be looking for warnings or error messages as they relate to replication. And you would get them in there as well as in the main uh, system log in Event Viewer. Oops. So if you expand Windows Logs and click System, we would get replication events in here as well. Again, they would be error events like this, although this is something that's related to DNS. Uh, but error events nonetheless. Okay? In the Applications and Services log, you are going to have a directory service uh, log. Okay? This is not the same thing that we were looking at before, which was a filter across multiple logs, but this also would be showing you events. File Replication Service would show you events related to the replication of the uh, uh, sysvol folder. Okay? So these are the primary locations where you're going to go to uh, monitor and manage uh, or monitor for problems. The other things you can do though are available in Server Manager as well. If we scroll down, we can see utilities like DC Diag. DC Diag is used to diagnose the health and the state of this domain controller. When you open it up, you're going to get uh, the help file that opens up. We can use a variety of tests. Now, I don't think this is an ongoing, uh, an ongoing utility that we will consistently use. It's used for troubleshooting processes, but keep in mind that it's there. You know, we can run specific tests, and here's this list of tests. Well, a couple of the tests are related to replication, FRS and DFS replication events, uh, inter-site checks for failures that would stop inter-site replications, uh, KCC events, those kinds of things are related to replication. You also just have replication. Okay, and so what you can do is we can just type DC Diag forward slash test and then replications and perform that specific test. And it tries to perform replication tests and then it tells you uh, if it was successful in doing so. We've got other utilities here. Rep Admin is the next one. That is a uh, a command line utility for monitoring replication. Also, again, it's going to open up uh, and show you the help. Uh, KCC, rep admin forward slash KCC is a good one because it forces the knowledge consistency checker to uh, run and evaluate connection objects. Uh, you can force replication with the replicate switch. We can get a summary of replication, REPL summary, 
Now we can do one command that has multiples, but here we would show each individual domain controller and then any errors and percentages, the actual, uh, the largest delta, the largest changed information between the two. And we see that there was an error in trying to get from our branch DC uh, because that server doesn't actually exist. Okay, so a variety of different objects, uh, options. We can even show attributes and show object metadata on specific uh, objects. So you've got that and then you've got REPLMON, which basically is doing the same thing just from a uh, graphical utility. So again, these utilities are probably not used in everyday life. At least I never did as an Active Directory uh, administrator. But they can be very useful when you're trying to troubleshoot problems. So your first place to go to look is Event Viewer. But if we find errors and it's not just due to network connectivity or DNS problems, then we can use Rep Admin, Repelmon, and DC Diag to try to diagnose and fix those issues.